Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer, and I know it's been a while, but we're back. We're playing GTA 5 British Police Mods. We're going to start a new series. We're going to see how it goes. Now, I don't know what that drunk pedestrian's doing out there, but we're just going to, uh... Yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, he quickly moved then, didn't he? So saw me coming in. He thought, oh, that's a threat. Let's move. He is running, though, isn't he, actually? That's quite suspicious, but we'll just say, you know, he's, he's being released from the Nick, so... He's probably in a rush to get home to his family. He's probably been in there all night in the cells. So what we're patrolling today with is a Peugeot 308 hatchback, not the estate. The estate and hatchbacks are very common now as an old patrol car. So we're just going to be incident response vehicle today. We just respond to anything that comes up as long as it's not firearms and like it like mental. So we'll just see. What we'll do is we've got ourselves on call. Let's just put the handheld to chest. Lights are working. They're looking amazing. Look at them. That looks great, and then we put that, all blues, great, back to reds. Okay, so let's get on patrol then. Let's see what happens. Into a so editing software. It's just not coming out crisp, but I'm looking at it and it looks perfect. But when I'm putting it through the edit and then putting it into YouTube, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to get myself a capture card. I keep putting it off, putting the capture card, but I'm going to get a capture card. And then we're going to go from there. So we're going to see how this video comes out. And if it doesn't come out the way I want it, I'm going to upload it if it's in decent um, quality. And if it isn't, then you won't see this video. And it'll just be a waste of everyone's time. Well, my time. And we'll at least know then. I definitely need to get a capture card now. We've been waiting for these lights for a while, haven't we? There's that lo lovely Volvo X something, isn't it? XV something? I can't remember what it's called. It's the big SUV one with only firearms or traffic. Alright, so we'll take a left down here, and we'll head into the main part of the city. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of British police cars. What have we got? We've got a shop within. Let's take that. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go around the traffic. Now, we've got a few little extra mods in, and I'm going to keep adding some just to see what happens. You know, I want to see how far we can push this game. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this again. I do enjoy it. I've been secretly playing it for a few hours every day, just getting into it. And like, all right, I really need to start recording videos. As you can see, there's some things like the Waitrose vans and London taxis, the Eco ones, for Fiesta's focuses. You'll just see them driving about. Right, let's pull in here. Actually, I should have probably parked on the pavement, should I? So we'll just quickly do that. Uh, I don't want to be like in an alleyway in someone's way for when a lorry turns up. We got our reds, on, uh, reds on. We got our blues on anyway. Right. Okay. So we're taser trains. We're ready. We're on solo shift. Here we go. Hey, the scumbag is in the back. Okay. I'm not speaking to you anymore. You're not going to give me any CCTV footage. Ah. Okay. Security guard in here. Okay. How are you today, officer? Yeah, we've just attempt you've just been attempting to shoplift. Luckily enough, we've managed to catch them in the act. Stuff like this happens so often nowadays. The value of the items, he tried to steal 114 144 dollars. 144 pounds, I should say. Ah. In this store, what's he doing? Robbing the whole store in one go. Lies, you asshole. Why the fuck? Does this store have a dedicated security? Because obviously it's got $144 worth in it. Right, what else we got? Uh, I'll need to... It's downtown to get some... My free... What? I'll need to head... Head over... Okay. Shoplifting isn't a crime. Well, actually it is. 285 for a bottle of Pepsi. Serious? That's inflation now. Welcome to the financial crisis. Okay. Officers, you should look at some other prices around the store. No wonder shoplifting is common. Yeah, yeah, it's just inflation. Uh, but I was doing nothing today, just nosing around. This guy is nothing but a lonely bullshitter. Okay, right, so we're going to deal with this. How... Excuse me, sir. Let me let me get on with my job. Right. Okay. Whoa, he's ram. He's ram. I am taser trained. I am going to have to deploy taser. I don't know why I've got an assault rifle in my uh, 
in my pocket there. I'm gonna go taser, 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 taser. Yeah, I tasered, said taser too late there, but I need him to get him down. Get on the floor. Get on the floor. There's absolutely no reason why then he fled. I'm gonna take him back to the store and we'll deal with him in the store. Hopefully the shot, everyone's still there. Right, okay, so we're just gonna grab this pet. We'll take him back to the store. Because we need an ID on this guy. We need to ask for CCTV if they've got it. We just want to do the full round to check out if it's clear. Now, hopefully they've not all just gone home for the day. If he's still here. Is the guard still here? Ah, yes, he is. Right. Right, so he's Nick for fleeing. He's just just made off from a police officer for no reason at the moment. So obviously that gives me reason to suspect he's done something. So I'm going to get a uh, a check on him. So he's Claude de Silva. Okay, license expired. That's not an issue. No active warrants. Okay, so that's interesting. So what we're going to do is I want to go on the computer. You know, our end pass thing. Ped database. Claude de Silva. Search. Okay, he's on parole until the 6th of the 12th, 2023. Ah, okay. It doesn't say what he was arrested for, though, or anything like that. But he's on parole, so if he gets caught, then obviously, with anything, he's going back to prison, most likely. That's probably why he's ran. So what we're going to do is we're going to question him. Right. Uh, now, there doesn't seem to be loads of questions here. I want to ask him some decent ones. I need to maybe add that into the game next. Uh, weapons. Do you have any weapons on your person? Yes, lots. Okay, that's just what I want to hear. So this guy is definitely going back to prison then. Um, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's going to harm me or harm you or anyone else around us? Uh, I'm relaxing my soul. Okay. Okay, do you have a warrant? We know he doesn't. Hell, I know. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I just wanted to check. And do you live in this neighbourhood? Is this your local shop? I live up north, so okay, so we sh Yeah, okay, right. We're going to pat you down then, mate. Under the air, section of pace. Obviously, I've got a prescription to set... To pat you down, at least. Okay, he's got a cigar, a pair of panties, and a smartphone. So there's actually no reason why he's ran, then. Because he's got nothing on him. He fled from us, but why he ran from us is... is was, I'm just going to put that down for he panicked, I think. Uh, hmm. I was hoping there was going to be questions like CCTV and things like that, but I guess I need to add that in, or something. Okay. Right, okay. I, I think I'm going to... I'm not... I've not arrested him. I've just detained him so far. So I think I'm going to de-arrest... Well... Undertain him because I don't know. It's he's it's not got anything on him, so he can't have stolen because he's not got anything on him. Screw Scar, can you just keep an eye on him for a minute, please? Yeah, thank you. Right, let's just have a little look down here. I can't see that he's dropped anything. Yeah, he's not dropped any like items. There's a couple of cans of coke and that, but he didn't. I didn't physically see him drop anything as we ran anyway. So I, I can't say he has stolen anything on this occasion. Because the evidence would say that he hasn't. Because he's got nothing on him. They say he has. But £144, £144 worth of stuff. I can't say he has. So I'm going to have to let him go. Okay then. Well, in that situation, we're going to pick our handcuffs. And we're just going to pretend he didn't vanish. Okay, right. That's dealt with. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. But, hang on. Is that not the guy we... Yeah, I think that's the guy we originally... Yeah, okay. Let's just... Yeah, let's get out of here. Now, it's gone quite foggy at the moment, hasn't it? So, I wonder where the calls are going to start coming through. And car crashes and that. We'll have to deal with the situation, maybe. Um, a robbery. Okay, we've got a store robbery. So, I think we're definitely going to attend that. Uh, let's go. Let's get them blues on. 
And let's go to it as fast as we can. A store robber. I'm trying to think what store's near there. There's the BP station. Maybe it's that. I'm sure, there's only one way we're going to find out. There we go. Right, I'm going to request. ARV and the local unit. Oh, okay, they've got guns. They've got guns. They've got guns. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. Hopefully, ARV is on scene immediately. I've got a local unit coming in. Okay, they've got guns. I'm going to stay behind this. Firearms have immediately shot them down. There's a traffic unit over there. Okay, there's an American cop woman. I don't know why she's dressed like that. That makes no sense. Where's ARV? Here's ARV in an unmarked X5. Go on. Here they come. Why are they just standing there? Go on. Deal with. Deal with. I'm going to go for a taser. Taser, taser, taser on the floor. Get on the floor. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Everyone, stop tasering him. I mean, stop shooting him. Um, yeah, we're kind of on scene with an incident here. It's like a full gang shootout here. Right, we got it. One officer dead, possibly. Okay, two suspects dead. American cop for some reason. It's a situation being dealt with. I don't know what's going on anymore. Absolute chaos. Whoa, we just had an officer being shot there. Officer being shot. Why have they got them guns? I gave them the G36. Oh well, I'll just ignore that. There's no way out. Right, okay, that's a major incident. So what we need to do is we need to call some paramedics actually before we... I need state three, so immediate response. I need first response Ambulance. medic. Assistance required in Davis. Units reporting a suspect resisting arrest in San Andreas. Let's just take ourselves off available calls for the meantime. That's annoying me, that American cop, but unfortunately that's just the situation at the moment. And the fact that they've not, they're not using the G36 as we've given them, but you know, you know it's, we've got to edge in slowly, haven't we? We can't just, we can't just go boom. Great, amazing mods. I don't know why they've turned up in firearms X5s either. But that's, yeah, excellent. Right. So we've got paramedics turning up. I'm going to call the coroner because there's a few that are definitely dead. And the sounds of it. Go up to this guy. Let's uh, request coroner. Assistance we're going to attend to this injured. Uh, I can see Chamberlain Hill. Oh, they're attending to him. Oh, we're all going to attend to him, are we? Oh god, are we all going to do CPR or are they just going to assist me as I do CPR? Okay, he's checking his breathing, his airways, and he's disappeared. And he's there. There we go. Right, we're all doing CPR on him. Yeah, suspects died. We've got a major loss of life here at this incident. This was an armed robbery that's clearly gone wrong. Thank Come God on, no officers, go. as far as I'm aware, have been killed. They've been shot and injured, but none have been killed. Oh, could be worse. Right, I'm going to stop traffic around here. Oh, I can't stop traffic around here, otherwise the coroner might not. Where's the coroner? Here's the coroner. Here's the coroner. Right, so I'm going to stop traffic then. Just because there's a major incident going on here. There's cars crashing into cop cars. I'm going to try and get rid of some of these guys now. Right, see you later guys. Thanks for coming though. Thanks for coming to the scene. What the hell were they? They were just dragging a body then. Holy moly! Thank you for coming to the scene, LAPD officer. Flown all the way just for this incident. Thank you. Right, okay, so there's a cop car here. She's going to get in that. That's fine. I'm going to say... I'm going to do a vehicle check on this. Can I have a vehicle check? 6-6 six, six, Delta Yankee Target Foxtrot 574 David Young Frank 5 Okay, okay, so it shouldn't be here because everything is expired on it. Approach with caution. Propo okay, approach with caution. So I'm gonna search it, but we're gonna be careful searching it. 
Okay, it's an AR-15 rifle in here. Okay, so I'm going to call for our police tow truck to come and take it away. Flatbed, assistance required in Davis. I don't think the officers can move until I get traffic going, so I'm going to clear traffic and I'm just going to have it going slow. That allows everyone to keep moving. So it looks like firearms have shot that guy. This has been a major incident. Major, like four or five people dead at least. Okay, two deceased it says there. One survived. This is getting picked up. That's being dealt with. I'm crashing into my... Oh, my car's over here, didn't I? I parked far away because I just saw a gun. Immediately I was like, nah, I ain't getting involved in that. You get as far as you can from it. So I'm just going to park my car on this area. Alright, it's on the back of that flatbed, so once that body's been taken, I didn't realise there was a body on the road. I'm going to start removing. Okay, that's where we're going to end this call, guys. So we're going to get on to our next thing. We're going to leave the officers there and deal with their own thing. Let's take the cordon off, clear traffic, and everyone's away. Okay, that person's obviously getting escorted to... The, I don't know what's going on with that building there. I mean, it's just because so many vehicles have just come in. That firearms vehicle is escorting that ambulance to the hospital. Obviously, it's one of the main suspects, I'd assume, that's been arrested on scene after they're being revived. Okay, we just finished that call, and we just had a call to say that someone is intoxicated in public. And they're causing a nuisance, they're a danger to themselves and members of the public, obviously. Because it seems, I don't know, I've not had a report of where they are yet, actually. I would quite like to just quickly, before I turn the scene, call information. Okay, yeah, I've got nothing. Okay. No, it'd just be nice to know where they are. In terms of, like, are they actually a real danger? Like, are they on the pier? Right, let's go. Okay, they're, they're not too far away, but they are quite a bit of a drive. It sounds as we go through. This car has got some mad handling, I tell you that. It feels like it sticks to the road quite well. Until we crash into a car, like. That's not exactly what we wanted. I apologise. Sorry. Right, floor it down here. And I'll take our time to overtake that vehicle. Right, so hopefully... This person hasn't caused harm to themselves or anyone else. Obviously being intoxicated in public is, you know, something that happens on a Saturday night, Friday night out or whatever. But during the week on a Monday, around about one o'clock in the afternoon, it's a bit of a worry when they're in public and they're in a shop area. There's no bars or restaurants anywhere near. I'm going to drive up here. Okay, let's talk to the suspect. He looks like a bouncer. Okay, excuse me, sir. Do you need any assistance? Nah. Okay. Being intoxicated in public is an illegal offence. I'm going to have to write you up for citation. Actually, no, it's not in the UK. You're okay, you're okay I believe. You're fine. You're alright. I'm just going to get you a taxi home, mate. But I'm just going to check who you are and things like that. Where you go in. All that. Okay, so can I see some ID, please? I want your name. I want to know everything I need to know about you. You're not on a warrant. Have you got any warrants on you? Mm. Well, let's ask him, actually. Let's question. Okay, do you have any warrants? Hell, I know, okay. And the other question is, do you have any weapons on your person? Uh, why don't you pipe down? Okay, so that's a worrying question. I'm just going to quickly do a check on you. Control. Just check on a Charlie McGoughlin. Okay, no active warrants. Okay, so you're all right there. Okay, just because what you've said, I'm going to pat you down and check you're okay. But what I'm going to do is... Yeah, thank you. Turn around from me. Face away. Keep your hands up. Okay, we've got a small revolver. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we've got quite a few things. 
a baggie of brown powder, so probably a lot of drugs, well, a lot of drugs, it didn't say a small, it just says a baggie, yeah. a small revolver, that's a big thing, we'll deal with that in a second, and unmarked, unmarked pills, rusty spoon, a pipe of tannin resin juice, so possibly involved in heroin. Okay, more importantly, he's got a gun on him. Right, so I'm immediately going to arrest you, mate. You've got a firearms on you. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to take you. You're going to go to the back of the car. We're going to do some further checks and further things. And we're going to go from there. I've patted you down, so if anything's found in the back of this car, mate, that's on you, because the car's checked before we go out. Right, okay. So let's just quickly... Hang on, whoa. Let's get off that screen a sec. I don't know why that just happened. Right, okay, let's get on the computer. Not the computer, my uh, my pad. Just a check. We'll do a database check. Okay, Charlie McLaughlin. Okay, so he's on parole. So he's he's going to prison. He's going to prison, that's fine. So we're going to take him. We have... Open warrant, no. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's not something. I'm looking for weapon. Wep one. Weapon. Discharge of a weapon. I mean, discharge of a weapon. He has a weapon in public. It's not... The classifiers. Hmm. I could do with a couple more different little things here. We're going to go with discharge of a weapon, but it should, we'll class that as just, you know, because it's the American set. Okay, so what we're going to have is. Okay, then it also had drugs. Ah, there it is. Illegal possession of firearms. How do we delete that one then? Uh, clear all assigned charges. Illegal possession of firearms, that's the one. Possession of drugs. And that's it. Okay, so we are, we have the suspect carrying a revolver in possession of items because they had powders and then they had unprescribed drugs. And then obviously they had the rusty spoon. I don't know who carries a rusty spoon with them, other than someone that is definitely a suspect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take him to the police station. We've done the incident report thing. So what we need to do now is take him to the Nick. Let's take him to the nearest police station. Lights can go off. And check both ways. And there we go. Right, let's get into this lane. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I'm hoping I'm going to add a lot more mods to add more questioning in and loads more like British styled incidents, less of the guns, more of the knives and things like that. We'll make it a bit more fun and interesting. Obviously, as you know, we'll be doing firearms, CID, playing clothes, traffic, everything we've done in previous episodes of that Met Policing series. We're just not going to be calling it the Met Policing now. We're just going to have all sorts of police cars in one incident and we're just going to have fun we are using a, a lot of met peds though but i'm just going to see what happens and we'll take each video it's a different video and have fun okay we're here so we just need to pull in right, okay we're going to pass the suspect, suspect off to another colleague because we don't have time for that and i don't know why they're again an lapd cop because we have got most of the cops responding in uniform i believe it's this backup mod that i have film it backup which is making them look a lot american i don't know why okay we've just got a call to a public disturbance now that could just be music it could be it could be anything really it could just be a pub kicking out but again it's about two o'clock in the afternoon monday it's not bank holiday monday so it'll be interesting to see now again we're gonna have a response I think it said code 2, but we're just going to go. 
code three. We're going to see what happens in the situation. Obviously, you don't know what type of disturbance it could be. A disturbance, but actually, it's a mess. It's just calling a disturbance. So I'd rather respond like this. Excuse me, firearms officer. You're not going to put up. No. Nope. Okay, you've got no body. So that would probably uh, be wise. Okay. Right. What's going on, guys? Well, what's going on? Is this really happening? Speak to me. Hey, guys, what seems to be the problem here? Hello, officer. This imbecile is causing a fuss with a few people. I stepped in and tried to calm him down. Nah, man, he's full of shit. I ain't done nothing. What do you mean? We're fighting a couple just over there. Okay, right. Okay, alright. Okay, so basically... The security guard said he's had a fight with a couple and all they did was look at him. Do you have any security footage of the incident? Uh, yeah, I do. Let me see how I have it here on my phone. Uh, show security footage suspect harassing a couple. Timestamp 10 minutes ago. Okay. Okay, well this shows everything, sir. As far as the security footage goes, you are guilty. Oh, shit. Must be fake. Right, come on, mate. Stop playing around. It looked like he was going to go for a fist then. Right. Okay, I want your ID, please. I want to know if he's done anything like this before. Any incidents that are violent. Okay, then. That doesn't give me a lot of information. I need to do a check on him. His name is Christian Cooper. Can I have a check, please? Okay, he's got no warrants on him. Okay, that's good. Okay, have you been drinking today, sir? I've been sober for six months. Okay, have you done any drugs recently? I only asked because why else have you gotten this? Hey, there's nothing against that. Uh, do you have anything on elite? Anything on you illegal? I'm a good citizen. Okay, that's what we like to hear. So, what are you actually doing here? Don't need sense. Okay, that's fair enough. And where have you come from? From home. Okay. And where are you heading to after this? I'm on my way home. Okay, so on your way home. Okay. Yeah, there's not much I can really ask there. Do you have any weapons on your person, sir? I'm going to search you. Okay, I'm going to definitely search you now after you said that. I probably wasn't going to search you, to be fair, mate. Because there's no real reason to search him. But I'm going to now. I said there's no weapons. He's got those weapons, I mean. Okay, then. So he's got a set of binoculars. That's a bit weird. Uh, a dollar bill covered in white powder. So that eh, sort of seduces maybe he's done a bit of cocaine, but there's no actual evidence to say that because we have to test it and then a police stick that's a criminal offense to have one of them it's got a condom and a wallet okay that's fine police stick and a white powder are a bit suspicious i'm gonna actually go and see i'm gonna arrest him for an offensive weapon yeah that's what we're gonna do and then i'm gonna test the white powder and see whether it's any type of drug I'm going to put them in the back of my car. Okay, so, sir, you're actually under arrest for an illegal weapon. The drugs, and, you know, we're going to check what it is. You know, obviously, so CID can question you about it further if they need to. You know, if it's like something like fentanyl or PCP. But if it's just what I suspect, possibly cocaine, then you won't be charged on that because there's not enough to give you a charge. Okay, let's just take ourselves off call for a second. And go up. No, 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 get back in the car. Get, what the hell are you doing? Get out the car. I've not asked you to get out the car, sir. Get back in the car. I won't ask you again. Get back in the car. Get back in the car. Be a good little boy. Get back in the car. Right, I'm going to close the door now. Right. Okay. So, what we're going to do is I think we do a narcotic drug test dollar bill covered in white powder now I think it's most likely going to be cocaine is it going to come back positive okay it's negative for that okay heroin white powder is less li likely to be white I would say but we'll see okay it's negative for that um, I don't know meh, meh. I doubt it would be that surely oh it is that methamphetamines okay we're also going to check it for other things in case it's mixed in with this. So fentanyl. Obviously, we really don't want it to be fentanyl. Okay, that's good. And PCP again. We don't want it to be PCP, but let's check. Okay, so it's methamphetamines, which, you know, 
you know, they might want to maybe question him in, in the station. We'll see. Now, actually, what we're going to do... Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to call um, a transporter. Because I don't want to transport them. I've trans... you know, I've done enough. I don't really like transporting people unless I really have to. You know, incident response, we need to be out there dealing with incidents, not tied down with someone that's just harassing someone and then it turns out they've got a weapon and then it turns out they're actually involved in a little, maybe a little bit of drugs, possibly. I'll have to see. Just call me when you're ready. Okay, they're finally here. God knows it's a couple of the ages, but okay, go on, off you go. Go on, take him, get rid of him. Come out of my sight. Right, okay. Let's just go and pull over here. Okay guys, I think this is where I'm going to end this video because I don't want it to go on too long and I feel like it probably has gone for about an hour now. So I'm going to have to snip it down. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now if it turns out perfect, it goes up on YouTube like we said at the beginning, then that is great and we'll look forward to it being that. And if it needs a little more, um, I don't know, the quality needs bumping up, then we'd look at maybe getting an Elgato. But we're going to get these videos going now. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for its notifications. And we'll be back with some more awesome videos as we're going to bring this channel back to life. See you guys in the next video.